and welcome to Serengard 1.14 single player survival world and it's been a little while I have been preoccupied with the world of solitude but I have done a little bit of work in woodlock um, the if you remember the cabins the two little cabins are a little bit over there and I really needed some proper storage so here is my timber warehouse um, probably actually let's have a look to see if I can see it properly from up here yeah it's a bit better rather than going into creative oh I've not finished it oops those need to go oh no I need to do um, have I got any on me no I need to do dark oak across there Anyway, so this is the warehouse where I have um, some proper storage, lots of chests. Um, as I said before, I struggle with how many chests to use and especially in this world where I'm kind of cheating in some materials, I'm not quite sure how much I'm gonna need um, but I shall hop across here there are a couple of cows roaming around so I thought I would bring them in here and uh, mate them because actually cows you always need milk for the getting rid of the bad omens um, yeah this is what it's supposed to look like on the other side um, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna use upside down stairs on there or not I probably should um, the cabins are over there um, but this is going to be like the central area so I've got my um, my food growing there <coughs> um, and then through this way was it this way yeah through this way is the project that I have been working on here um, the intention is well apart from this I think this is just going to be decorative but the intention here is to have a few more cabins around with things like um, pumpkin farms and things like that um, but this is going to be the sawmill um, it currently has got a wandering trader near it <laughs> um, and this is the entrance and um, yeah as you can see I have started on this bit I can't quite remember what I was doing um, I do know that they need to go in there but what I will do is I will work on this a little bit more and then come back to you when I have got um, a little bit more work done. Okay, so I've decided how high I want it, and this is going to be the floor level. Let's have a look. Um, this is going to be the floor level here, and what I want is I've seen a picture on ooh, Wikipedia of an American sawmill in about 1920 and it's kind of got like a chute that goes from the ground up to the first floor so I'm gonna try and ah oh now that might be tricky there um, try and replicate it without having first done it in <laughs> creative why would I try it in creative first <laughs> right I think what I might do is I might change those for dark oak um, so I kind of um, I kind of did this before when I was working out the um, the width of this um, actually yeah let's do this oops oh oh I 
this way. No, I want that that way around. So I hope you are all doing well today. I always forget to ask, so I do apologise. <laughs> um, yeah, since I started on the World of Solitude server, you know what it's like with a new world. Um, getting all excited and starting gathering stuff and things like that. And because I'm one of the new people on the server, I wanted to kind of get something started and um, show that, uh, show why I've been like asked. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I've been spending quite a bit of time on there. And I've kind of um, wanted to, well, I wanted to be on there anyway, but I kind of wanted to be around quite a lot because I didn't want to miss out on things that were going on in the community. So yeah, spent quite a bit of time on there. And I might need to set up a schedule to uh, ascertain as to when I'm going to be uh, working in Seren Garden, working on the other projects. Um, it might mean that City of Water and Lights, I have done a little bit in City of Water and Lights, but it might mean that I don't do quite as many um, videos. Um, I'm going to see if I've got any dark oak slabs. Which way am I going? I'm going to have to do a pathway between the two as well. Um, because I guess from the sawmill it would be brought over to the warehouse. Um, let me see if this is the dark oak. I do have some. Let's get those. And then I'm going to, the sea is that way, so I'm going to um, make like a port there where all of the timber can be shipped out from oops um, and I'm going to because it's going to be a managed forest I'm going to chop all of the trees down and then plant them in um, kind of ordered rows let's just do that oh and no, I actually would it have been better to do upside down so it makes it more of a gradual. Let's have a look. I suppose it probably doesn't really matter because we won't be able to see the down bits of it, will we? Um, yeah, I think that looks all right. I mean, these bits are obviously not much of a, a graduation, but there's not really much we can do about that. Um, there's not much I can do about that. Let's do that, and whoops. Uh, am I going to get that one in as well? Oh, I'm going to have to do that from... Actually, I'm going to have to do that, aren't I? To get that one in, because you can actually see that. Whoops. All right. Maybe should have done that first. So, that looks fine. So, the logs would come up here. Um, I just need to... change those ones for, I don't think I've got planks have I, planks like that, there, um, and I've used um, brown glass in here because I figured if they're cutting um, then sawdust would be going all over the place and um, yeah, oh no, they might be a bit mucky. 
so this is going to come in whoops not like that oh, oh i've done it again let's just do that this is going to come into here i'm not quite sure how far but let's just do that at the minute i haven't thought about what's going to be under here for um steps uh that probably doesn't need to be there but let i could just do something like that all uh, right i need to get to a bed uh let's just oh <laughs> hit my ankle okay so welcome back i've just realized i've like built this whole thing and uh, i had my screen uh, minimized with the picture of the sawmill in the corner um, and I'm not quite sure if I can crop it in iMovie the reason why I realized that I had the whole screen odd um, with the picture in the corner was I, I was looking at the picture to see what the actual <laughs> channel did at this end um, I think I might have to make this like more gradual because I doubt that they would lug um, all of the timber up a hill so I might just have to terraform this a little bit although that's not very gradual is it oh, unless um let's just right i guess this would be uh let's just use the slabs unless the saw thing is um if i bring it all the way down to there and then that's quite flat and then that can be how they transported it up uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that now that I've put all of that in there. So I shall get that done and um, sort out what I'm doing with the rest of it and then I will be back with you. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I think with all the um, recording shenanigans yesterday, I recorded a whole lot. Um, I'd stopped my recording and uh, started like thinking I was recording again and I hadn't clicked go again record so um, I think you might have missed some things I've got like a log here that's waiting to go up the chute here I've put the roof on again I need to do the the little dark oak um, kind of it's upside down stairs on that bit um, it's been chopping some trees down um, we've got the side bit here at the back um, there is a hole I decided to put a hole in here um, actually I can't remember whether I showed you the I don't think I did I think that was on the failed recording this is the saw cutting the log <laughs> I thought that was quite a cool idea um, it's not lined up properly, but never mind. Uh, I'm just thinking we need some lights in here. Uh, maybe pop one there and one there. What I am going to do is put a couple of windows um, in the roof here. Um, obviously, I haven't decorated downstairs. Um, I have put a window in here and then this is like the crane thing for like hoisting um the the cut the sawn logs onto here so i've just put some randomly placed on there everything's everything is a bit is a lot sprucey um i might change these for dark oak actually um that might be a good idea but what i'm gonna do for the last little segment is come up here and decide where I want to put 
um, a couple of windows. So this will be the wall. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten until that one. Yes, I know it's an even number, but never mind. Um, probably want to go a couple in from the wall and uh, do maybe something like that. The two, how many is that in? One, two, three, four. And we're just going to do the same on the side. One, two, three, four. Four, and then I can remember what it is I'm doing. <laughs> um, well, actually, it will also give me an idea of how wide these. Oh no! I, oh, actually, I could just do one big window. Um, or is it going to be better to do two small windows? Right, let's do that instead. So I'm going to have one I'm going to move these along one one there if it was too wide then it would be here so I think it's just going to have to be one wide but that's fine uh, so I'm just going to go up like that and I'm going to so put those together make these come out like this so this needs to what do I need to get rid of I need to get rid of this one and then that curls around there get rid of that one and that one will go around there and just thinking what I need to do under there so that one and that one and then that one will come across there and then I need some um, slabs to go across there let's have ooh, a look yep that looks all right um not quite sure I'm just gonna leave those not quite sure what would happen to that and obviously this is gonna um, connect to that and now I didn't put the panes of glass in there did I so that would help wouldn't it uh, let's pop a spruce kind of beam thing there put the glass in there right I'll get this other window done and then I will be back with you okay so I've put the um, other window in um, obviously there's a spruce tree growing <laughs> in front of it uh, so um, really it was just to give light inside and I've put some upside down stairs here and here um, I may chop these trees down at some point but I don't mind them growing into the um, into the spruce bit like that um, I'm just wondering if I can just finish this off and then um, call the episode here because it does I, th I will probably do this on the um, can I reach that oh, I can't reach that one I will probably do that this on the storage room as well uh, just because it does finish it off can I actually jump onto anything <laughs> can I do yeah I can do that but oh actually up it get up 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 obstacle course I don't know that way and then uh, oh of course I can't get back again so I just go up like that I could break that um, I need to I don't know if you can pile these down 
because um, I need to get into that bit, but I do need to sleep again as well. Uh, ah, I thought that would break that. Okay, can I reach that? No, I can't. Let's just go up here and then I can break that scaffolding as well. Uh, now, is that because it's attached to that? I haven't a clue. You do find that the scaffolding pings all over the place, so you do lose bits from uh, time to time. Um, so that, yeah, that looks a whole lot better on that side. Floating scaffolding, I'm not going to get it back. And then I'll just run around quickly and do the same on here. Okay, so that is looking a whole lot better on the front as well. Um, I was just looking at it thinking that's putting me off, but that's the spruce tree that's uh, growing right against there. So I might actually take that out because it makes the whole thing look lopsided. Um, I need to completely terraform this and do something with it. I'll probably put some, um, when I get silk touch, I'll probably put some podsol and things around um, and coarse dirt and things like that to make it look like a timber yard and obviously more more logs around and some carts and things probably put some carts at the uh, at the back as well but for now um i'm gonna end the episode um hope i don't get shot off here by pillagers because i've just spotted some uh, but thank you very much for uh, joining me in serengard minecraft survival and i shall see you in the next episode bye